Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another commentary video here. Uh, we're talking about Tesla today, again. Um, so uh, basically, what's going on is that there's some news about Autopilot 2.0. And as you know, Autopilot is Tesla's uh, autonomous driving system. And what it does is it basically keeps track of, uh, with the cameras, front-facing cameras, it keeps track of the road lines. And it uh, keeps the car on track, and it has a bunch of sensors around it, so it can, uh, it can detect different cars it can like uh, check their speeds and things like that it has a bunch of other sensors that uh, that look in front and in the back as well uh, but it's not totally autonomous and that's the thing but uh, they're working on 2.0 and uh, right now the current autopilot system is kind of under criticism for being almost drivable so almost drivable within quotations there because it reaches the level three of autonomous systems which means that it still requires the driver to be present, like completely present and just uh, fully aware. And of course, right? I mean, it's, it's a totally new system and uh, it, it doesn't have enough hardware and software to be fully autonomous yet. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not really fully autonomous. And uh, Tesla doesn't state this either. They don't tell you that your car can drive itself when you buy a Tesla. Basically, it just tells you that it's there. It's a system you can use as long as you're aware, as long as you're keeping track of the road and you're using the car the way it's supposed to be driven uh, and not thinking too much of it and just rather use autopilot as a convenient thing for a few minutes rather than a complete drive. But even if it could, and a lot of people do drive and, and keep their autopilot on almost all the time and nothing really happens, you know, and it's really safe. It's a good system and they really worked hard on it. So uh, props to them, you know, but uh, they're working on uh, a better autopilot system right now and to reach level four basically like i said you need uh, better hardware they're going to need some better software um, they're going to need more detailed maps and uh, at least lots of more sensors a few more sensors here and there and uh, what they're doing what they're planning is that at least there's a rumor of uh, they're increasing the front facing front facing cameras from uh, whatever it is right now to Three. So those three are going to work together in order to get a better, clearer picture of the road and things in front. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen is that uh, the first front-facing camera, the new one, will have kind of a magnifier um, that will be able to see further ahead. Then there's another one that is at a slight angle. I'm guessing to see the road and things like that a little closer. And then there's a third one, which is a little more independent. And it's more of a backup to the other two. And it can work by itself. And it's also at a little angle there. Uh, so it can it can keep track of stuff. And I'm probably just uh, just as an addition to them. And, and you probably just need the two working together right there. Um, but yeah, there you go. And then it needs more sensors, like I said. And they're planning that. They're going to do some more radar sensors. Uh, so the car gets a better, like, three... 60 degree view around itself and uh, just just more clear more details much faster and just uh, you know speed is the key here right like if you're driving along and something happens a millisecond can cause you uh, either to die have an accident or for the car to react and quickly adjust okay it's just milliseconds we're talking here so hardware is really important here the 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 way it can react how quickly it can react is really important and i'm pretty sure at level 4, you probably don't have to be really aware of what the car is doing, but uh, still, you probably want to just keep your eye out sometimes here and there, see what's going on. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no news of, like, laser sensors or anything, but actually, a lot of people were talking about that. But the thing with laser sensors is, at least Elon Musk stated uh, before that, uh, radar sensors are a better choice, because they work better in like harder conditions like uh, rain, fog, and snow, things like that. So laser sensors are kind of like not on the table, right? At least not what uh, they're saying. So Tesla hasn't mentioned anything about that. But a cool thing is that Tesla is working with Nvidia right now um, with their new Drive PX2 kind of supercomputer thing there. And uh, just because they're getting a lot more data in with all these new sensors and cameras, and they're going to have to uh, quickly compute that data. So they need this uh, this new hardware and they're working with Nvidia and uh, uh, so hopefully that's going to be something that uh, really helps them take the step forward into this next step of autonomous driving and it's supposed to be really strong I mean I think it was like 24 uh, billion or something calculations something per, per minute I don't know uh, don't quote me on that I didn't check it out 
but it's, it's a lot it's a lot but i know it can do more than like 10 cameras at the same time at least just keep track of those um so yeah i'm gonna read on more about that nvidia px and see check what the news is uh but uh, another good thing to mention is that autopilot 2 before it's released all current systems since i'm not sure about this but uh I think this new camera system, you can install it on your current car, probably, and the operating system will be updated. So you'll be updating, the current cars will get a 8.0 system, which should support these three, from what I've read, uh, should support these new cameras and sensors and stuff. So we'll see if you can actually install those on your old car, because uh, it's a pain to sell your car and buy a new one, right? But uh, yeah, it should be automatically downloaded and you should have this uh, this new operating system going so that's basically all i have for autonomous driving for autopilot 2.0 um, but what i think about that i don't know I, I i really like it i like this autonomous driving thing people are kind of scared but uh, elon musk stated once that uh, in all this time that all autopilot is being used there's been barely any crashes like there's been one death recorded and really sad i really 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 hate talking about things like this really sad that a person lost their life uh, in a situ in any situation, but I mean, uh, comparatively to normal regular traffic, uh, it's been safer. So it's uh, it's not like something that uh, that's really dangerous. As long as you keep your eyes on the road and you keep working with the car and not putting too much confidence in it just yet. Uh, but it's a great system. They're working on it. Anything has a great like, uh, or, or anything has a start, right? Like you have to begin somewhere. So this is a start for autonomous driving. And Tesla is uh, is amazing in itself. Um, I love Tesla for what they're doing and how they're trying to move and push this industry forward. And I hope it, it really works out. And Autopilot 2 might prove a few people wrong there uh, when it comes to autonomous driving. So, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.